Welcome back to It Resolves, where we play a new deck every single day. Today's deck is Naya Restoration. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today. I will be gone at the time of release of this video, so I'm hoping I've been able to pre-record enough that you guys have content every single day. If not, I apologize, but we're doing the best we can to not miss a day. Uh, what I will say is you guys have really come in clutch. You guys have been really suggesting a lot of decks for us, uh, this one being no different, Chaotic did suggest this deck, so thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. If you do have a deck that you would like us to try on video, go ahead and leave it in the uh, Discord channel or go ahead and message me, just DM me wherever you would like. I would love to check it out and give it a shot. I do try and test decks ahead of time. Uh, this one might be a little different because I didn't have time, uh, but generally if I have time, I try and test them ahead of time. Now what that means is if you do submit a deck and it's just not working, I, I don't want you guys to feel bad about it or anything like that, but it probably isn't going to make the cut for a video. Don't feel bad about that. That's just the reality of I, I, I want to put a deck out there that's fun or does something exciting or, you know, shows off what the deck or, or what the cards can do. And if I can't make it work, uh, that might be my fault. But regardless, I, I just I, I don't want to put a video out on it. So no offense to anybody, but uh, Chaotic did recommend this deck and I've only tested it once and it was awesome. So we're going to try it. Uh, this is Naya Good Stuff or Naya Restoration. Uh, so what we're going to be trying to do is return a lot of enchantments in particular from our graveyard to the battlefield with the brilliant restoration uh, now we have a lot of powerful stuff in this deck so we've got um, some good early two drops almost like the best little Selesnia package here truthfully we've got the spirited companion which draws us a card uh, we've got the prosperous innkeeper which gains life and ramps us we've got ranger class which gives us a 2-2 hopefully gets us to the point at level 3 where we can play off the top of our deck we've got shigeki which is going to help us get lands just everything you want uh, in the three drop slot, we've got the restoration, we've got wedding announcement, fable, just all these really powerful uh, enchantments, and in some cases, sagas that we're going to want to replay. Uh, Balaged recovery does allow us to bring stuff back, so a nice little include there. Uh, as far as four, we've got some really big enchantments, and in particular, uh, Asika's Chariot as an artifact that we're going to be able to potentially bring back, back as well. Uh, Felidar Retreat just really going to set up every land drop to be something special for us and hopefully push ourselves to the win. Sigarda's Splendor, uh, obviously going to gain us a little bit of life for every white spell we cast, and then potentially, uh, you know, just hopefully get us where we need to be and draw us more cards. Uh, Showdown of the Scalds, obviously a really interesting card as well for the deck. Uh, just allows you to hopefully throw some 1-1 one -one counters on some smaller creatures potentially that you play off of it. But it also just gives you more plays. Uh, that, that number one level really helps us out. Uh, we do have Doom Scar, of course, and then sitting at the top, the Restoration, the Storm of the Festival, and the Titan of Industry. Just all huge, powerful things that are hopefully going to win us the game. Again, Chaotic, thank you so much, my friend, for suggesting this deck. We're going to jump right in. We're not going to waste any time. So, let's see how it goes. All right, guys, and here we are for game number one. How do we feel about this? Um, I think okay. It's not amazing. It's a little bit late game. Not late game, but, like, turn three is a little bit slow, but... I think we've got enough good stuff here that we can probably get to where we need to be. And we've got a storm the festival that we are definitely going to want to ramp into. So uh, hopefully we can make that work. Let's go ahead and play the lair. Uh, we'll probably end up, of course, playing this on the white side. So let's go ahead and do that as well. And we just get to pass. Pretty easy. Uh, let's see what the opponent is up to. Potentially Selesnia. Oh, <laughs> fun. All right. Very interesting. Um, this is going to be a fun matchup. All right, so <laughs> let's uh, let's throw you down, I think. I wish we had something with two or... I mean, we can just get a land, I suppose. Let's go ahead and play the Fable. Uh, again, ramping is kind of important when we've got a Storm the Festival in hand, so I think I'd rather get this down and hope that we can push a little bit further into the deck. Yep, this is the... Uh, <laughs> This is the combo. Uh, very, very cool with these lands. They, I'm assuming, have Splendid Reclamation in the deck, uh, which is going to be really good as well. So basically, we just have to hope we don't die. Um, <laughs> not much else we can do. Uh, do we want to discard some cards? Uh, 
Honestly, I don't know. I kind of like our hand. Um, that might be incorrect, but I'm kind of into what we got. All right, so we can attack just to get the treasure token. That would put us up to four and then five. That doesn't actually seem that helpful unless we're going for the Felidar retreat play, though. Um, so I think instead, we're going to go this route. I think we go this route. Uh, this gives us our next land drop, uh, which is obviously important. Um, but it also... Let's see, so if we do attack, that gives us the treasure token, and then next turn we do have Storm the Festival available. Uh, I don't think they'll be able to kill this, so I think we pass. Uh, my thought is if they can kill it, we do want to get the attack in now, because otherwise we would lose the opportunity for the treasure token. Uh, but I don't think they're going to be able to do that. This seems like a, a deck that really isn't trying to kill much. Uh, Doomscar would be amazing right now. Like really really good yeah getting in for 10 <laughs> it's pretty good pretty good um all right <laughs> and they get two more lands yeah so basically it's like doom scar or bust <laughs> or just a really good storm the festival uh which is slightly unlikely to to really happen but we'll we'll see Yep. Okay, uh, definitely not. Um, we're gonna decline, because we don't have anything to actually use there. We'll play land. Um, we are gonna just, like, have to attack here. Uh, Storm the Festival is basically our only hope, so that's why I'm doing this. Obviously, I know they just get to kill it. Um, but nothing in our hand is gonna solve this problem, so let's see what we can get off of Storm. Awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, not great, really. Um, so, yeah. I mean, they have trample. That's that's game. Uh, let's go ahead and concede, and we'll move into game two. Check out this month's Patreon rewards, celebrating our return to Dominaria. If you want to pick these up, feel free to visit our Patreon at patreon.com/itresolves. All right, guys, we got to hope for a little bit better this time. Uh, we'll see if we can get there. I do like this hand. We've got the Spirited Companion and then, of course, some good turn fours. Uh, so we'll we'll give this a shot. It's a little, like, underwhelming, of course, but I think it'll be okay. We don't have a turn one play in the deck, so we do start on turn two, uh, which just means that this is perfectly fine by me. Uh, I think, actually, now Shigeki is probably the better play. Again... Just giving ourselves the lands here and setting ourselves up for the restoration is like a million times better than uh, basically anything else. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and activate this. I'll put you onto the battlefield, because why not? Um, and we'll play you on white. Uh, might have actually been better to have played the white source. Not really thinking about the restoration being for white, but here we are. Alright. Uh, hmm. It's an unfortunate place to be, isn't it? Uh, let's see. So, what can we do? Man, we are up against, like, flyers galore, man. Which is, unfortunately, like, a big problem for this deck. I do feel like it's just weak to flyers. Like, as a silly kind of obvious statement. Um, we just don't have flyers. <laughs> so... It's a little unfortunate, but it's fine. Yep. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's really good. Mmm. Lovely. <laughs> Land? Nope. Brilliant restoration. Um, <laughs> may maybe land? We're pretty dead, uh, unfortunately. Okay, uh, we got a land. Yeah. We'll just replay Shigeki. Ooh, this is not good, guys. Uh, we've missed land drops, like, all of them. Um, which is really bad in a deck where you're trying to get to seven mana. <laughs> so even if we do get a land off the top of the deck, we can't. Brilliant Restoration, and they just have tons of power. They have any other creature, which is, I assume, an angel. 
They gain life. They probably can just kill us. Yeah. Good game. Just gonna go ahead and concede. Unfortunately, two losses. Uh, let's jump into game three. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are for game three. We gotta hope for a little bit better this time. I do like this hand. We've got the innkeeper. We've also got the uh, fable and the ranger class. So this is a pretty reasonable keep, I think. Um, we will lead on the sundown pass, just knowing that, again, we don't have a one drop in the deck. There's not really a huge reason. Man, why? Why so many flyers? <laughs> this is so obnoxious. Uh, I mean, here we go. Every single time. No, it's fine. Um, unfortunately, that's just, although, I, I say that's just the meta. I don't know that this is 100% the meta. Um, I'm not saying it isn't. I'm just saying, you know. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. <clears throat> At least we gained a life. Woo! We're safe. <laughs> uh, all right. So, again, we're basically just going to try and get to Storm the Festival as quickly as we can. If we draw a land off the top, we can actually go for it next turn, potentially. Um, because we'll be able to get a treasure token off the goblin. Uh, but not super likely that we're going to do super great. Uh, and that's okay. Uh, Chaotic, I'm very sorry that we are finding ourselves against every Flyers deck in the world. It's kind of just unfortunate. Um, I think we just discard a, Shige a Shigeki. Wow. Uh, Alright, drop you. I'm doing it because we just kind of need to get the treasure token thing going. Block. Curious to see which... Okay. Wow, they're gonna trade. Fair enough. Alright. Fingers crossed. <laughs> we don't just die. Uh... Felidar Retreat and Asika's Chariot. I think are the best options. Alright. Here we are. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's see. Flyers would be a strategy I would recommend trying. Uh, just having a couple, maybe just like a Ren and Seven <laughs> uh, for the reach. Something like that would be probably beneficial to a deck like this. Um, but you know, it it is what it is. <laughs> Are we just dead? Uh, no, not quite. We're at two. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, you did it. Got us to two. Yep. All right, we get a turn to uh, see what we can pull off. Probably nothing, but at least it's cool. I do, uh, again, I do like the Brilliant Restoration play. Chaotic, I do think that, uh, you know, this deck is fun uh, in the sense that there's a lot of really cool possibilities that can be had here, but unfortunately, I just think, you know, we're not, we're not going to get it, uh, sadly, um, which is fine. Again, it happens, but just frustrating. Uh, let's just throw you out. I don't know. I should have done this first, but I, again, it really doesn't matter. Um, yeah. Wrong order for all of this, but I'm actually just going to go ahead and concede. They definitely just get to kill us. Uh, we could have gotten below their 27 deadline there, uh, which would have helped, but they have flyers. We literally can't do anything about it. We're doing a game four. These are going fast. Let's do it. All right, guys, here we are for game four. Wow, what a bad hand. <laughs> we're gonna mulligan. Um, this is also bad, but we're gonna keep it. Um, the good news is we can play the cards, except for the restoration, in our hand. Uh, so I'll take it. <laughs> this deck is very expensive. Uh, it, the curve is a little odd, because you... You know, you got, like, good turn threes, and then, like, you kind of have to just wait uh, until turn six or seven. I don't know. We'll, we'll do the best we can. Uh, chaotic, I'm so sorry, my friend. At least this isn't a Flyers deck. Unfortunately, it's the Vampires deck, uh, which is probably really not good for us either. But, hey, we'll uh, maybe have a chance. <laughs> All right. Uh, unfortunately, we can't play the layer of the Hydra. We probably should have played that last turn. 
That was a bit of a mistake. All right, sick. That just means they can't kill anything with the Blood Tithe Harvester ability, which is actually kind of relevant, so I'm cool with it. Definitely go white here. Uh, yeah, we did mess up a little bit. We should have played the Lair of the Hydra last turn, but again, um, a mistake. I don't know how minor of a mistake, unfortunately, uh, but we'll, we'll make the best of it. Um, Good to point it out uh, when it happens, if you notice things like that. That is an important piece of the puzzle, by the way. We don't block in case they have a... If they have a removal spell, they have a removal spell, but we kind of force them to use it. Uh, it's important to, to kind of look back and see, like, oh, okay, yeah, we did kind of mess up there. I think that happens all the time. And, like, you know, a lot of people love to point out, uh, <laughs> maybe a little too much, um, how many mistakes I make throughout games. One, let me just say, I do actually, as silly as it is, I do actually appreciate you pointing out the mistakes. I'm cool with that. Uh, as annoying as it is sometimes, because I feel like people just enjoy it way too much, it is actually, like, helpful for me to know, hey, I could have done better here, and sometimes I don't notice it in the moment. What I will say is if I point out a mistake in a video, you don't have to remind me. Like, obviously, I pointed it out. Um, I've had that quite a lot especially recently, and I just think it's hilarious, because, <laughs> like, yeah, duh, I know. Um, I think we just don't block, right? I don't really care. I mean, two damage sucks and all, but, like, I'm not as concerned about that. Also, I ditched this because we're not anywhere close to playing it. Um, <laughs> like, at all. Alright, yeah. Watch me die. All right, so they're gonna kill this anyway. Excellent. <laughs> yep. Very good. Um, I think we're gonna chalk this up as we got four losses. That That's kind of my view. Um, maybe I'm wrong. I really wish I was wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. Let's go ahead and drop this. Let's go ahead and drop this. Uh, yep. Cool. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I think this deck needs some rebalancing, Chaotic. Um, I, I think it's not tooled for the meta. It's tooled to do one particular thing very well, which I think is fine. Uh, I'm not upset by that at all. What I do wish is that we had, like, any number of other opportunities to... I think we just block both of these uh, to like, I don't know, handle like an extra. I don't know. I don't remember how many doom scars were in the deck, but like some some extra doom scars would be helpful. Um, like, I think this is a deck that if we sweep a lot, it's great. So overload those sweepers, man, because that's what's in the I mean, that's what I tend to face a lot of the time. Um, not always, but certainly a helpful option to have. And the problem is, at this point, like, even getting a Brilliant Restoration down is, like, not that helpful. We have a Fable that we're gonna get, you know what I mean? And... <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Alright, so we'll discard a Brilliant Restoration. I'll... Honestly, I don't even know. I guess so. It doesn't matter, I don't think. <laughs> This is so sad. Um, all right, we're just gonna go ahead and concede. Uh, after four straight losses, let's go ahead and talk about this for a second. All right, so first and foremost, Chaotic, I do, I, I know we didn't get a win here and that's unfortunate, uh, but that's just the reality of what happens sometimes. Um, we were against three decks that featured an overabundance of flyers. And I think that shows a big issue with the deck. Uh, in the in particular on the ladder, which is that is something you kind of just have to account for. Um, while I wouldn't necessarily expect that you would see a lot of those decks higher up the ladder, I don't think that um, the the Splendid Reclamation deck is necessarily like a tier one deck. I think it's a very fun gimmicky deck, but I don't think it's tier one. And Mono White Angels, I don't think is necessarily turn one either or tier one either. I think there is a tier one mono white list uh, that this deck would probably still have some problems with, but it wouldn't be the flyers as much. Uh, all that to say, very creative, very fun idea. I don't think it, it worked out 100%.
Um, and that's okay. I think it just needs a little bit of retooling. I think it needs a little bit more balance. Uh, I do love, like, to me, the Titan of Industry play isn't in line with the deck very much. So, like, for me, maybe take that out. Lower the curve a little bit and get yourself some extra Doom Scars in there, some extra Sweepers of some kind. Uh, just to be able to deal with the board and prolong the game until you can get to the Brilliant Restoration. That seems more important to me than having a big Titan of Industry. Uh, where, of course, Titan is a good card, so I understand the appeal, but uh, the mana costs that are really at play here are tricky. You've got three green with Titan and with Storm the Festival, I believe Titan as well. Uh, you've got four white uh, with the, the Brilliant Restoration. I think all of those things together equal a very difficult mana base and a very difficult way to get a good solid hand because you don't have as much of the early game. You're dedicating a lot to the late game. Uh, and so Chaotic, again, where I do think, uh, you know, this is a fun idea. I really appreciate the suggestion. Take a second peek at it. Just see what you're, you're playing around with. And I think you even mentioned, I might be wrong, but I believe you mentioned you were playing around with this deck. So I don't want you to take that too harshly. Uh, but I think this could use some work. That's all. Uh, so I encourage you to check it out, try it out, and see where you can retool it a little bit. I would appreciate that. I would love to see what you come up with. And again, the suggestion is always much appreciated. So thank you so much, Chaotic. I do appreciate it. Guys, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, it's always fun every once in a while to just watch me lose all of the games. So enjoyed. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. It happens. So I love you guys very much. Have a fantastic Tuesday. I'll see you guys again tomorrow.